How many free-to-play Dragonstones will the upcoming Golden Week celebration bring? I know the celebration details aren't even out yet, but there's a lot of obvious things that we know we're going to get. So that can give us an easy baseline amount of free to play dragon stones to expect. And anything else that comes after will just be a bonus. So in this video, all I'm going to do is count the obvious things, give you a, I guess, outlook of what we can expect. I do have the trusty calculator pulled up right here. And then we're just going to go through piece by piece. And again, I'm going to be super conservative in this video. I'm not going to try and add things to make the number of stones look a lot better. I mean, it's just, it's just, it is what it is, right? I'm not here to lie to you or anything like that. So with all that out the way, hopefully you're having a great day. And if not, then hopefully you can turn it around. Let's hop into this video. So Golden Week celebration, the first thing I'm going to say um, is we know that the celebration is going to last for about a month. So, I mean, we already know actually based off of the information that came off of Twitter, the celebration is going to start on the 27th of April, okay? Now, last year, the celebration pretty much ended. Some content ran past the 31st, uh, but a lot of the content, like the EZAs and banners and such, pretty much ended on the 31st of May. Remember, the Dokkan Fest, the next Dokkan Fest dropping for Global after Golden Week will be at the end of May, like the 31st of May, or like the first day of June. So... Basically, from the 27th of April to about the 31st of June is basically what we can expect. And I already did a little bit of calculations on that. That's going to be a total of 34 days. If you log in, I I'm always going to count login and daily missions because that's a lot of dragon stones right there that you cannot be missing out on. People, believe it or not, don't log into the game every single day. Um, so if you want to make your mo want to make the most out of every opportunity to spend stones either now or say for the anniversary, logging in is such a crucial part of that. It's just again, it is what it is. I mean, I'm just I'm just here relaying the information to you. So 34 days of logging in is going to get you at minimum 34 dragon stones. But we also know that daily missions minimum also give one dragon stone per day so it's basically 34 times two which brings us to about 68 dragon stones keep in mind that sometimes daily missions give more than one dragon stone but we're not going to especially for you know big special mission celebrations like this so um at minimum it's going to be one dragon stone per day and then one dragon stone from the daily missions but it's most likely probably going to be um, a lot more than that just for simply logging in and completing some very very basic missions for your dragon stone so we're already at basically over a free multi for logging in let's continue uh we also know that we're getting some sort of eza okay last year we got the eza for lr cell and we also got the eza for lr str ultimate gohan i know you watching can easily agree with me saying that it's very possible for us to get at least in one month at least two EZAs, but I'm not even going to add two EZAs. I'm only going to add, let's just assume that we're only going to get one EZA for this celebration. Again, a very realistic, and I, I want to give you a number at the end of the video that you can definitely feel confident in. So maybe two EZAs is too much. Let's just focus and act like we're only going to get one EZA for the next whole month of this big Golden Week celebration, which is probably most likely not going to be the case, especially when you consider that Saiyan Day, which is a much smaller celebration than this, had like nine EZAs. So that's just you know, besides the point. But anyways, let's just add one EZA. So Dokkan Festival EZAs give 34 Dragon Stones. Uh, LR EZAs give 33. You know, it's the 30 and 30 plus the missions. So let's just add 34, because why not? Right? I pulled up LR Cell here, it's 33, but let's just let's just add 34 Dragon Stones, assuming we, we at least get one Dokkan Festival EZA. 34 right there brings us to 102 Dragon Stones so far. Very, very, very nice. Um, we also can definitely expect Explosive Chain Battle. Last year, Explosive Chain Battle came twice, I believe. One for Android 16, yep, and then one for Cell, right? Uh, it should be up here somewhere, 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 some hold on hold on i swear we had there we go nice it's cool so yeah two ultimate chain sorry explosive chain battles um one for self one for android 16 um i think they're going to keep the same theme this year one explosive chain battle for part one and then one explosive chain battle for the lr in part two but again i'm only going to count one of those because you just never know right we just never know but they definitely like to release these during these uh bigger celebrations so we know that this usually gives about 20 dragon stones let's just count it up real quick we have nine right here uh, plus 12 
plus 14, plus 17, plus 19, and plus 20. So 20 Dragon Stones for completing the missions, or I guess 20 Dragon Stones that will become available for you to potentially receive, right? For Explosive Chain Battle. Let's go ahead and add 20 right there. And we are at 122 so far. Um, and then I, we, we definitely know we're getting at least one stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. I think it's very fair to say. And let's just say for whatever reason that we don't get a stage of this. I think any other EZAs we could receive in a bunch of any other content will easily cover this here. So let's just, again, I think it's very fair to at least add one stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. In terms of missions, they're very weird with missions. Um, let me just go ahead and pull up, I, you know, like one of the more recent ones level 25 so in terms of missions um we get one uh three uh, what is it here seven and then 11 mm, okay so 14 17 19 21 22 and 23 dragon stones plus the one for completing this is 24 dragon stones let's just say a nice clean 20 right again just to be very fair 20 dragon stones right there that's again that's 142 dragon stones um for at least one stage of infinite dragon ball history and then we know we're getting ultimate clash i mean this is just a given this literally comes out every single month and the entire month of may will be you know surrounding golden week so we we're definitely getting this at the, at the beginning of the month um which means that we can add this now this gives one dragon stone per stage for the first 10 stages or i guess every stage for all the 10 stages right that's 10 dragon stones there Plus, I think there's 21 here for missions, so that's 12, um, 17, 20, 21. So 21 plus 10 is 31 Dragon Stones for Ultimate Clash during its reset. Let's go ahead and add 31 right there. We also know that we're getting Dokkan events, one for one Dokkan event, or maybe not new Dokkan events, but you know, like new Dokkan event stages, if you will. It could either be a new event or new stages. Regardless, each Dokkan fest that they receive that they release. Which there's going to be two since it's dual dokkan fest um it's going to have their own event with two new difficulties each difficulty gives you one dragon so that's four dragon stones in total we definitely have to add that and we're at about 177 dragon stones which is again a very easy number of stones to expect and i did not even add like look at this let me let me just show you what i'm technically missing out on also the goku day campaign um, happens in the middle of this we could definitely get some more stones for this but i'm not going to count any uh, of this stuff here um we know that we get special missions the, the the ordering of this stuff is very weird let me scroll down here actually yeah the ordering of the way that it has to do some of this stuff is a little bit weird but we know that we get every celebration has special missions we might also get pets on battle right that's another that's two things right there that i'm potentially missing out on um another super truck easy releasing is very realistic so i'm gonna give that three things that we're probably missing out on dragon ball story may or may not happen we, we, you know we, we ne never really know to be honest with you i really think we're getting at least two easy a so that's another thing we're missing that's four things i'm potentially missing out on that's going to give us easily over 200 dragon stones but again we're being fair right ultimate clash i already counted already counted all of this um new titles i mean we could definitely get another SBR or ESBR stage. Very, very possible, but I'm not going to count any of those. Um, and then what else here? So yeah, yeah. So just special missions that give a bunch of dragon stones as well. So, I mean, again, it's literally, there's no way we exit this celebration without at least 200 free to play dragon stones that you can farm up and collect throughout the course of the celebration. But for the end of this video, we're going to remain at 177. I think this is a very fair number a very realistic number of, of what you can look to and expect and, and work towards as all of this content releases. There's a lot of speculation even that we could be getting a new legendary event maybe, which I would absolutely love if you were to ask me, um, or, you know, some new red zone stages potentially. Again, there's, there's a bunch of content that it's probably going to release. All of these celebrations just continue to get better and better. So, I mean, there's really no telling the things that we could receive so it's definitely going to be more than this but just in case the bare minimum we get one ultimate clash one dragon ball history one chain battle one easy a and logging in every single that sounds like a not i wouldn't call that a boring celebration because obviously it's not but it's not as impactful or as action-packed as we know let's be honest we know it's going to be more than that so 177 dragon stones minimum i think it's definitely an easy number to uh, expect 
and uh, yeah, of course, as the celebration info comes through, if you'd like for me to do an updated video on all the free-to-play zones available, I can definitely do that, just so you know where you can farm up the new dragon zones available. I really don't mind doing anything like that, so let me know. Hopefully you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Have a great rest of your day again, and peace.